How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Video. Today I want to show you how to reset your Google Nexus 7 tablet back to factory default settings or basically setting it up like brand new in the event that maybe you wanted to sell it or maybe you wanted to return to the store maybe you wanted to go from 8 gig to a 16 gig it's always good to reset it back to the factory settings bef uh, before you do give it away or return it just because it does have like your personal information like your email synced you may have um, important documents whatever uh, just good to uh, do this just to protect yourself and your privacy or maybe you're just trying to reset because you don't like the way you set it up and you just kind of want to start over real simple I'm gonna go to your app drawer and you're going to look for where it says settings and there was an easy way to find it you could just pull this down and when settings there but I like to go this way so settings and you basically want to come down to where it says backup and reset go ahead and tap on that and from there you want to come down to erase all data on tablet tap on that it's going to ask you it's going to show you all your different accounts we're going to go ahead and press reset tablet it's going to ask you again erase all your personal information and downloaded apps you can't reverse this action you're going to press erase everything and there it is so what it's going to do is it's going to power down it's going to erase all your data off then it's going to um, basically reset all the drivers and it's going to set it up like brand new like the way you had it when uh, you first purchased it and first opened the box and got to see it all pretty and everything. So that in a nutshell is how you reset it. And um, hope that was helpful. I'm going to go ahead and wait a second and kind of like watch or let you see the process of what it's going to do. And as soon as it gets to the main uh, boot screen, we'll be done. And you'll be on your way. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, let me just add, I love this tablet. It's really awesome. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, very responsive. Keyboard is really easy to use. Uh, lightning fast. I think the only uh, issue I have with this is I feel like it takes a long time to charge. But I've been using different micro USB chargers. Like one for my Bluetooth, one for my cell phone. Haven't been using the one that actually came with this. So I'm thinking maybe that has something to do with um why it's taking a little bit longer to charge but other than that when it's charged up and ready to go I mean it's just um, it's a beauty to have um, I have the 8 gig one and it's just so surprising that it's only 200 bucks I mean like um, I have an iPad have a Galaxy S3 have an iPhone and uh, this little guy is just amazing I think it might add it to the family of my of my gadgets you know a lot of times I get the tablets and try them out and you know rarely do I find one that really is like I could see myself keeping this one and um, really being able to use it make my life easier so that's my little spiel and I'm actually gonna do a full review and give you like my full pros and cons on it uh, look out for that probably in a week or so uh, going on time for a little while but I'll be back y'all and looks like we're just about done here and yep there it is so that is the official how to reset your Nexus 7 tablet back to default settings. So hope that was helpful. Uh, subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. And if you found this helpful, like the video and keep watching. Have a good one.